Oh boy, oh boy. What's happening, y'all? I guess we're uh, we're doing this again. So welcome to uh, another Smoke and Mirrors uh, brought to you today by uh, the grounds of coffee that you find at the bottom of your coffee cup after you've had a really nice one, and then you pour a second one, and then they float up and they get stuck in your teeth. Also uh, brought to you by that feeling when you're about to start doing a thing and you're not exactly sure what you're going to do, but you're going to do it anyway. So, welcome to Smoke and Mirrors. Smoking and mirrors, smoking and mirrors, smoking and mirrors right now. Ow, ow. Smoky smoke mirrors, smoky smoke mirrors, smoky. <laughs> no, it's enough of all that. That, 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 that wasn't. That was not, um, that wasn't a good theme song. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I want a better theme song. Um, somebody have a good theme song. I need a good theme song. Anyway, hey, this is Smoke and Mirrors. It is, uh, Smoke and Mirrors. Somebody wrote that to me in the, uh, Smoke and Mirrors, uh, community page. And it is fucking hilarious. Wrote M-E-E-R-S. Uh, this is Smoke and Mirrors. Uh, if you are here to uh, smoke, then mirror my uh, actions now. And there it is. The air horn is back. And so are we. Welcome uh, to this Memorial Day Smoke and Mirrors. The, uh, I, of course, would like to shout out the workers on the front lines of this horrible, horrible disaster. Uh, those who have given their lives uh, so that we might uh, have a bit more of our own. Uh, and those who are trying to mitigate the disastrous choices of folks who think it to be a bit of an impediment on your own rights to have to uh, not breathe your gross COVID zombie germs all over me. So shout out to the people who are doing that work. Thank you so very much. This is uh, Smoke and Mirrors. Those special effects are great. Do you have a hot bevy? I hope you do. Warm bevy, even on a hot day, on a colossally hot day, uh, it is both important and uh, uh, healthy to drink a hot beverage. So if it is hot where you are, drink one and let your sweat glands do what they're supposed to. That's how, that's how we know we're humans. It, see, the thing about, uh, again, the idea of uh, the crossbred dog people who are on the planet who are trying, you know, the ones with the fur babies, who uh, don't want to sweat. Um, gross. You should sweat. It's it's important to do. It's it's your cooling system. It's how your body cools, and it's a healthy thing to do. Uh, sweat. Uh, this should have been brought to you by Sweat. Ah, uh, fuck. I wish I had a new introduction. Anyway, uh, hey, let's do some uh, some. Uh, what do you call these? Gigs? No. There's a word for this. Uh, fell in my MS hole. Anyway, uh, coming up is, are, is a thing that I'm hosting, and it's going to be an important thing, and you should be a part of it. This is Justice Within Reach, the Ungala being presented by uh, our, our good friends at MRG, uh, the MRG Foundation. This is going to be happening uh, on Thursday, uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, Pacific, 9 o'clock Eastern. Zoom up in there. Zoom up in there. I will be your host and your MC. Musical guest, 2019 Lila Jewel Award winner, Marilyn Keller. Featured uh, entertainer is going to be Kay Londi Barrett, uh, who is a po poet, performer, educator, uh, navigating life as a disabled Filipinx American, transgender, queer in the U.S. Of a number one USA number one US no no wait sorry 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 uh, I got caught up in the hoopla 
Um, how are you? Welcome to Smoke and Mirrors. I don't have a bunch uh, to holler about today uh, or a bunch of jokes. I got joke drained over the weekend. I got, I got, I got my joke snake drained. Uh, gross, considering the next things I'm going to say. I'm, um, I'm already saying it before the next things happen. Hold on, I'm going to say that a different way. Um, I had my, my, my joke hole filled. Uh, I had my joke hole stuffed. Anyway, so after I saw y'all Friday, then I got to go tell some joke kisses at, uh, at uh, Disowned. And I got to tell the joke kisses at the expense of uh, my niece and myself and uh, our human sexual... Not... Ah! Anyway, there's a link available, I'm sure, uh, on... Uh, the kickstand comedy uh, page if you want to see the joke is it's much funnier and less gross and disturbing than what I am uh, not describing right now because the words aren't uh, I see I said I was gonna make um, animal balloons balloon words for your eye holes with my mouth and uh, painting a horrific disaster. So someone make it stop. Uh, anyway, uh, shout out to Kickstand Comedy. Shout out to Jenna. Shout out to Disowned. And shout out to my niece, Alicia, who uh, was willing to allow herself to uh, be present and, and be filmed uh, watching me say very, very dirty things that I uh, wish, in retrospect, uh, she hadn't heard me say. But I invited her. She's an adult now. She's 18. It's fine. Um, hi. This is Smoke and Mirrors. So I want you to come and see me do the joke jokes because uh, I, love, I love it when uh, people uh, love me. And so do you. So do we all. That I, we're on social media right now. And we all like our likes and we like our things. And I like my likes. I like my things. They make me feel good. Also, I like to make people as best I can uh, feel something. And sometimes it's good. I like to make stuff. Do you know what I'm saying is what it comes down to, which is why this thing has begun to grow and, 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 and blossom and evolve. And it's done so with your help and uh, with your permission. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the opportunity to take this, this, this mogwai from its, from its uh, humble little uh, uh, wooden cage and, and, and to take it and put it on, on, you know, underneath uh, this, this, this light. And, but then it was burning. And so I pulled it back a little, but then I, get, I uh, accidentally spilled a little water on it and it's getting, uh, there's more of it. There's more of it now. Um, and uh, evidently it ate after midnight because it's morphing. It's morphing and it's a little more fun. Um, sometimes there's structure, sometimes there's not. But all of this is because we are now in a virtual communion uh, together. We, we have entertained uh, social intercourse uh, several times, perhaps. And I, uh, me... I, I, me, the sort of, uh, the sort of codependent uh, college lesbian I am inside means that if you and I have had social intercourse a couple of times, uh, we virtually go together now. That's what, that's what's, that's what's happening. We're having a relationship. Uh, and so I like that. And thank you. And I see you. And you see me. And that's great. I appreciate that. I will say, I am also aware that not everybody does appreciate that. Um, I, I uh, twice this weekend came into encounters with people who um, absolutely and very distressedly uh, did not. And one was fine. It was fine. She, uh, black Democrat, evidently, uh, I a black 
uh, person who uh, will typically, if I deign to vote, vote for a Democrat because uh, I don't like Nazis. That said, uh, the, the, the raping uh, and the racism and the disgustingness that the Democrats do is not a thing that I won't talk about and is not a thing that I'm not uh, willing to face. Um, the way that Joe sniffs uh, random uh, girl and women hair uh, and also evidently his own fingers is a problem, I think. I, me, me, I, I find it to be, have you seen that? Look at, here's the thing. I have like owl shoulders. I don't know if you've noticed that I have like, and it's killing me I, because I've always wanted to make sure that I was like, you know what I'm saying? Had a, had a neck and things. And as I've been doing this, what I've noticed, and yes, I was just looking at the monitor, what I've noticed is that, that, that here, when I do, he, I have like, I have like, like Larry King, like, like Larry King, like, like hunchback owl shoulders uh, as I'm aging. And it was a th one of the things that I had nightmares about when I was young and I hoped it wouldn't happen. Uh, but now I do. Uh, anyway, uh, the fuck was I even talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're in a relationship now. So um, this weekend, though, there are, see, as with any healthy relationship, there are boundaries, right? Uh, you have heard me, perhaps. Let's just take another hit. Let's warm up. Let's get into it a little bit. Let's get into it a little bit. Perhaps. You have uh, heard me refer to myself as your um, fake internet friend. And I'm happy to be that. I love being that. You are mine. We, we are one. I see you. You see me, right? Um, I have also talked about the many, oh, sorry, the many fake uh, internet friends that, that, that I have, right? Folks who I admire who uh, I, I, I like. I like what they do. I like the stuff they make. And uh, sometimes I get up in their, in, their, in their little inbox just to say, hi, uh, hey, great show today. And um, some genuine relationships have, have developed from that. Uh, and, but moreover, usually it's just, you know, it's like when you uh, hear someone talk at a, at, a, at a book event or something, or you see somebody do it and you know they're at a, at, a, at a whatever at a restaurant at a coffee and you just say hey how you doing that that thing you did man i liked it that was great and then and then and then i, I gives me a chance to go ooh thanks and then we move on our ways right the thing the thing is the thing is that sometimes when you say the sort of the things that i say and talk about the things that i talk about race class gender and you try to be uh, engaging and open, some people, some people uh, will kick the barn door down, uh, as only some people know how. Uh, I don't know if you know these people. Uh, the whites, I think they live a uh, third house down from the left and on the right and uh, beneath me and above me and every goddamn place because we're just surrounded. Anyway, um, there are good ones. There are good whites. Uh, the way you know a good white is if I said something like the whites and you went, <laughs> yeah, them, that's good. That is, that's a sign. That is a sign that uh, to, to, to a signal, if you will, uh, a signifier uh, that you might be a somewhat safe white if you had a bit of intolerance for the whites, as did say John Brown, yes? Um, so uh, there are good whites. Uh, I, in history, uh, along with John Brown, there are other ones. 
There are other ones, I'm sure. Not the point. The point, though, is um, the amount of privilege that is taken by uh, some of, especially those whites, who deign themselves to have any bit of authority uh, over blacks, uh, in particular, um, our behavior and the things we say. This is not a thing that is new to me. I've experienced my entire life. As you know, uh, I, I, uh, I know the languages and behaviors of the uh, whites very well. Uh, I have studied them deeply. Not only am I a sociologist, am I a trainer, am I a facilitator, uh, do I live in Portland, I, I, uh, I, I, I had to retreat from the whites. It's, it's a bit of a reverse Tarzan situation. I was, I was a bit of a, a Jane Goodall of, 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 of the whites. And that's how, why I moved to Oakland. And then, much like uh, is happening to Meher, the whites just moved in there too. And so now I'm uh, right back in the stew. All right, so I know the whites. This is what I'm saying. Uh, I don't object to the fact that you, uh, the whites, uh, also think you know me. That's fine, you're wrong. But it's fine that you think that because it makes us, it, again, the, 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 social, the prophylactic social intercourse we're having makes it possible. I have said this before though, and I wanna make it absolutely abundantly clear. Uh, if, if, if you fall into that category, uh, and especially if you are not yet convinced that uh, you should be or ought be one of the good whites, meaning that you don't say the thing of, ugh, yeah, them, when I say such a thing as I'm saying now, that means that maybe, 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 we, we are not really uh, in communion, and maybe you are an observer, which is fine. This is public. I, I understand that. I, I, I have painted myself into a corner of becoming a bit of a Gen X, uh, non-offensive? Uh, 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 no, that's not the word. Non-binary. Uh, um, Andy Rooney, if you will. Okay, so, and if you're not old enough to know who that is, Go fuck yourself. You, why are you watching this anyway? That's weird. Um, so what I'm saying about that is this. Some people don't know a sense of place and boundary. And I, I don't know if you know this, um, but one of those people who don't are the um, whites, which is uh, part of how you, you ended up all over the globe, which, okay, it's where we are. But that said, it does not mean that you have to be in my mentions uh, and in my DMs. Now, if you're going to be there, again, to say, hey, hey neighbor, uh, liked the thing you said. Girl, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But if you're coming to, to my shit, to, to do shit like this, Listen, listen, hunty, listen, listen, hunty, listen. Now, it was Saturday morning and I woke up to this shit, right? This idea of, of just, just curious, just curious. I'm just being a bit inquisitive. I'm just being a bit inquisitive, truly from a place of really wanting to know and understand and build communion. Do, uh, do you prefer Trump? And if so... How could that, how could that, how could that be possible, Mr. Black Man, is the assumption in that, in that, in that phraseology that was chosen, which is interesting to me, uh, given the fact that if that were not genuinely a question of curiosity, would be posited in, in such a way to elucidate uh, an, a, a, a clear understanding of the uh, implied uh, 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 intention of saying, you know you have to vote for Biden, black guy. Now, one, hey, when people call me guy, two, have to, schmaff to, 
Three, Trump's a Nazi. No, I don't support Nazis. Four, why are you my fucking mentions? Uh, and five, what the fuck? Uh, which was what I, I then uh, posited to her. I said, well, why? where did you get that? And I asked where she got that because I know what she was responding to, right? So check this out again. So she's, she's here asking this shit. And I was like, well, where, where'd you get this idea? Where'd you get this idea? Right? Because this is the tweet she was responding to that was in my stories, right? Uh, finally watching Black Klansman, which I, which I did, by the way, which I did. And let me say this about that, uh, if I might just take half a second. Uh, this push to have baby Denzel somehow step into daddy's shoes and take over the roles that uh, that Denzel would have had in films. <sighs> Man, it's a good thing that they're surrounding the child with actors. Okay, anyway, uh, so finally watched it, right? And what I realized in watching that is that I wish I loved anything as much as Spike Lee loves stuffing a script filled with nigger. Do you see? Because I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't like the, the, all the being called the name for a movie and didn't understand who the point was for. And she, from that, took uh, this, do you, uh, do you, do you prefer Trump? And I said, uh, what uh, do you mean? And then, and then they said, uh, well, I'm responding to the idea that Biden is a rapist. Who says shit like that unless they're a Trumpster? Oh, the range, sweetheart. I mean, you can read the rest of this bullshit on your own if you want to. I, I just, uh, it, here's the last couple of things, though, on it, though, right? At the very, 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 very last. Uh, it's going to be a choice in the final hour of Trump versus Biden. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, not funny. Okay, two things. One, uh, no shit. No shit. When I, when other leftists who are willing to deal with your dumb reformist liberal asses, arses, say things like, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll vote for your fucking dumb dumb. What I would like, though, is for your fucking dumb dumb to surround themselves with some evidence that they're going to be able to uh, uh, move some level of an agenda forward. Little itty bit, it, little itty bit, little itty bit, right? That would be cute. That would be cute. Um, that's not what happens. That's not what happens. Instead, this dum-dum does all the things we talked about before. He, he surrounds himself with a senior black advisor who then he claws into like, like some weird gropey gropster. And then, and, and then I say and remind everyone, hey, you know, we still don't know because it seems a lot like this guy is a rapist and that's all. That's all. I didn't say don't vote for him. I didn't say it's bad. I didn't. I, I, it is bad. It is bad. It is bad. Uh, it is bad that the Democrats chose this asshole. It is bad that he is a rapist. It is bad that this is a thing that needs to be said. And it needs to be said if we're going to be able to move forward and bring parties together and actually bring people who give a shit about these sorts of things into anything that's happening. That's all. It just needs to be acknowledged. That's all. That's all. That's all. Can we just look at it? Can we all, can we all acknowledge and walk on the same planet together? Is that possible? Is that possible? That's all I wanted. That's all I was after. Um, and now I'm dragging this stranger, internet stranger, in front of you. And I'm doing that because I'm petty. I'm doing that because no white woman will ever again in my life tell me what I ought and ought not do. And on the heels of Joe Biden uh, deciding that he knows who is and who isn't black. No, 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 I uh, also made an active choice not to, not to uh, put your name out there in the event that you are watching this. I am not going to, nor do I intend to, do such a thing uh, unless you deign to 
to fuck around and uh, tell me that you want me to bring that smoke again. Because if you're doing it, there is so much smoke to be brought. This smoke is a delicious treat that was brought uh, to me by my friends uh, at uh, Bloom. And, uh, you know, it's not an advertisement, just some buddies, some friends who I know are not going to harass me uh, should I uh, send a caregiver of color uh, to go and retrieve something for me. And that person happened to have on a mask and a hoodie unlike some other uh, highfalutin, think a lot of themselves, uh, cannabis cultivators. So uh, one more shout out to Bloom, Bloom Dispensary. They're not racists. Um, and uh, I happen to be smoking a Narnia cannabis flower. I just remembered also too that uh, I had eaten uh, two yummy gummies from the good people of Bloom, a uh, special treat. Uh, and had done that about 20 minutes before we went on, and now I'm just realizing what I've done. Oh, oh. Anyway, uh, that's going to be fun. Um, hey, uh, lost one other friend recently who also was on my personal page, who was a friend who we knew here, uh, and was on my page uh, doing pro-Biden ha-ha hee-hees and jokes, um, about uh, Biden could do this, that, or the next, and if Trump is the other candidate, I would still vote for him. Ah, okay, get it. Uh, also, here's the thing. Democrats, generally, you are looking real thin-skinned and real scared, and it is convincing me more and more Trump is going to win if y'all don't calm down and focus on how you're going to deal with with real shit around your candidate and stop fucking with people who are telling the truth about him. That's maybe not the best strategy. It's very reminiscent of uh, Nita Hill. That's fine, though. That's fine, though. That's fine, though. Is this your king? Really, for serious. Is this your king? Democrats? Jesus Christ. Uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Wakanda forever. Um, hey, sweethearts. What else? Was there anything else I was going to tell you? I don't know. Uh, no. That was it. This, I don't have any notes. I didn't, you know, listen. Here's what happened is there was a weekend... And in it, um, I was still in recovery from that infusion that I had gotten uh, for MSs. And guess what they have a lot of in it? Steroids. And so what I didn't do, uh, because the steroids are a bit like the cocaine, is uh, focus down and write down words for myself. So there aren't any. So here's what I've done. Now, uh, what I would like to tell you is this, though. We are expanding the family. We're expanding the family. I have treats for you, should you want treats. And uh, let's talk about what that means. Hey, uh, first of all, uh, you're great. You're fantastic. Uh, second of all, this has been Smoke and Mirrors. And as I said, it has evolved and uh, grown and turned into a whole fucking thing, uh, mostly because of you. And I appreciate that. And uh, it gives me a chance to spend my very valuable time doing stupid shit like this. So, uh, if you like this stupid shit and you think you'd like to share it with a friend, you know what? I would really appreciate that. You could do that. Uh, I call that passing the J. You know, you could pass the J. You could, you could share it on your page. You could share it to a friend. Uh, maybe it's too embarrassing and you only have one friend who you could share it to and so and you can't really like put it on your own page. You could, you could send it to them in a message. You could do that. That's a secret thing you could do. Um, if you wanted to hear uh, more or see more of what I am up to, 
when I'm not doing this, uh, I'm on IG at El Caballo Negrito. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Caballo Negrito. Um, if you felt like you wanted to contribute to this endeavor, and some people very, 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 very mistakenly do so, uh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. It only encourages him. Uh, it only encourages him. No, li- listen, I had a, I had, I had a, uh, th- that's in my head. Uh, I had a theater teacher in high school. I used to do school announcements. Of course I did. Fucking nerd. Uh, and when I did them, I would get extra jokey jokey. And I did this with uh, my best friend, uh, Alex Campert, and we would write scripts. And uh, what I know, because Alex told me this happened, is that she uh, had said to Alex, hey, uh, do me a favor. I need you to keep an eye on Carlos because uh, if I give you an inch, they will take a mile. So shout out to Rita Keller. Uh, from Fairview High School, uh, and uh, Beach was right. Um, listen, also, so if you did want to contribute, you could do that in three places. You could do that at Venmo, at Carlos-Windom. You could do that at Cash App, at dollar sign CK Windom, or you could PayPal uh, me, at CK Windom. And what's that beneath? Yup, it's the expansion. The gremlins are changing and shifting. The evolution is underway. You could be an official patron if you wanted to. What does that mean? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you asked. That means you could actually subscribe and then you don't have to uh, ever put five on it. You become a supplier. What? Yup, you would be a supplier. What does that mean? Oh my God, there's levels to it. There's exclusive gifts there. There's presents, there's treats. Uh, and the way to unlock them is uh, to throw something down at the patron, uh, and Patreon there. And uh, that starts at exactly what? Five dollars. Exactly. Put five on it. If you want to. Don't. You shouldn't. But do. Definitely do it. But don't. But when you do, you will unlock the realities of what's coming to you. And I will say this. There's a very special treat coming to the first 20 patrons. Something very super special. Uh, So please, if you are on Patreon, uh, make sure you have your actual correct uh, snail mail address uh, registered and all that good stuff for some reasons. And hey, guess what? Uh, I'm a patron. I'm a patron. Uh, Here's the thing that you should give your time and your money to some black women. Uh, Shout out to T with Queen and J. Uh, That is a podcast. That is an excellent podcast. Why am I shouting them out? Uh, no reason. I got because I'm a patron. I'm a patron. I I I, I do. I, I kick down. Uh, I throw down a, a a nice little chunk of change every month, and I do that because I think what they do matters. And uh, I think that if there are people in the world who do a thing that does matter to you, uh, that sincerely, uh, it matters that you invest in that. Right. Uh, it it has been said. Uh, to me, uh, it is a Kantian theme uh, that uh, your budget is your moral document. Uh, and so uh, certainly not saying that there's any reason that you should uh, 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 develop a subscription to this on any level. Just know that, uh, you know, wherever you're putting your dollars right now, uh, and I know that arts and entertainment and bullshit is a lot of what's keeping us afloat right now. Um, you know, invest where it matters, uh, and invest in what you believe in and invest in the things that you love. And, uh, that is enough of me being sincere with you. Uh, Hey, thank you so much for spending some time. Uh, this has in fact been, uh, smoke and mirrors, uh, I'm going to be back with some more special treats, uh, throughout the week. Uh, please come back tomorrow. It's going to be cute. And uh, definitely be here Friday. That's going to be super cute. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday is probably just going to be me doing more of this dumb shit, honestly. So you could, I don't know, you could take it, you could leave it, do whatever. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Wash your hands. 
I love you. Uh, bye now. Bye-bye. Thanks for spending some time.